Lads, let's go. So right now we're looking at a deck that does well at locals and has won one. Uh, it is, as you can see, a little bit weird. It is Time Thief Runic. It is basically deck out deck. So let's go into the card by card. First, the Time Thief engine. We've got three winder. Uh, so he's the Stratos of the deck. Uh, on summon, adds any Time Thief card. And uh, he can special summon himself by detaching from an XC's monster he control I control. So he'll just go detach from Redoer, special, add, and then have another level four on board. Regulator is the best opener for the deck. If you control no other monsters, you can tribute it. Special two uh, Time Thief cards from your deck in defense position. So you summon Winder and another one. And then you get to trigger both of them on summon. And then he has the secondary effect. When next season is destroyed by battle, he can bring himself back. Then you got two Bezel Ship. He can quick effect, go yeet himself out of the board, and then steal a card from your opponent's graveyard and attach to a Time Thief Xyz. And he can do the winder thing of when he's in the graveyard, detach from an Xyz, summon himself from the graveyard. So just another free summon. And then one Adjuster. Uh, adjuster, if I normally special a Time Thief, can special itself. And when it's normally special summoned, it'll send a Time Thief from deck to grave. But for some reason, Konami doesn't like Time Thieves, so they made each of those effects a hard once for each. So if you summon it by its own effect, isn't gonna send. If you send, you have to normal summon it. That's kind of lame, but that's just how it is. Then for the spells and traps of Time Thieves, so you have three startup, ruin it resolves, special Time Thief from hand. And then during your main phase, you can banish it from your graveyard, target a spell, trap, and monster, attach them to a Time Thief Xyz monster. So it lets you give all, all three effects to Redoer basically, which is really nice. Two Time Thief Flyback. When it's set as a trap, you can activate it, target a Time Thief Xyz, attach a Time Thief card from deck to it, which is really nice. So you get to attach another copy of it to where then you get the Redoer trap effect, which is really cool. And then while it's in the graveyard, you can banish it to steal a card from your opponent's graveyard and attach it to a Time Thief Xyz, which is also really cool. And then Time Thief Retrograde. Uh, it's when a spell trap is activated, no, put it under my Time Thief. It's just nice, nice to have. And that's the entire Time Thief package. Now you got two Runic Fountain because Runic Fountain tip. Uh, so all the Runic cards, when you activate them, you can't go to your battle phase. So that's why it's all deck out. Uh, all of them have the secondary effect of special summoning a Runic from the extra deck to the EMZ. Freezing Curses is in perm and banishing the top three. Uh, Runic Slumber is protection from the first battle or card effect that would destroy a card and then top three. Dispelling is uh, when your opponent adds a card from deck to hand, di make them discard one and then banish two. Uh, Smiting Storm, count the number of cards your opponent currently controls, banish up to that amount so they could banish anywhere between one and that amount of cards. So that's a great card to end the game on to where, oh, they have four cards in deck. I'll activate Tip and then activate Smiting Storm, banishing three, even though you have seven cards. Runic Destruction, it's MST and then banish four. And Runic Flashing Fire, uh, pop a special summoned monster, banish top two. And that's the Runic Engine. Now onto a few just separate decent cards. Instant Fusion, Mud Dragon is a level four, so get you that. Along with technically can summon any of the Runic monsters. Uh, Foolish Burial Goods. I like sending uh, Time Thief Flyback or uh, Time Thief Startup to the graveyard. You could also send a Runic spell if like you go, oh, I wanna draw two. Foolish bur Burial, send one. Activate this Runic spell, draw two off a of fountain. Up to you. I like having the extra ability to mess with my opponent. And regular Foolish Burial. I really like Bezel Ship being in the graveyard. It's really nice. So if I can send it to the graveyard more often, that's always fun. And then three Droplet. I need a way to interrupt, to stop my opponents when I go second. So, hey, they have a board. I'm gonna send three cards, activate a runic spell to summon Huggin, activate a runic spell, popping your thing, Huggin, uh, or Fountain, I'm gonna draw two and then keep playing my game. So yeah, that's the main deck. It not, it's very simple, but makes sense. Uh, looking at the extra. So we got two Huggin, Moonin, great way to win in time. Gary, I wanna have three of this one. This one's the best one in the deck for me. The reason why it's actually good, that, that it it's a level four. This deck really likes level fours. 
I don't think I'm gonna keep playing Slepnir. It's not bad, it's just, eh. I haven't really needed it. It's, it's good, it's just, this deck needs fours more than it needs another guy. Uh, two Perpetua, during the standby, detach one, target a, a Time Thief in the grave except itself, special summon him, and then Quick Effect targeted a different Time Thief Xyz, that now has a Time Thief card from deck on it. So it lets you get your Redoer's effects more often. Uh, Redoer, during the standby, the reason they're called Thieves, steal the top card of your opponent's deck and attach it to it as material. Then it has a quick effect of detach cards as part of the effect, so it's like a uh, gigantic sprite. If you detach a monster, he'll banish himself to the end phase. If you detach a spell, you're drawing one. If you detach a trap, Phoenix Wing Wind Blast, put that card that you have on top of your deck. Uh, I think I'm only gonna have one of Double Barrel, but right now I have two. Uh, when your opponent activates a uh, effect, you can detach a monster to make it gain 400 attack. Detach a spell to take control of a face-up monster, so triple attack, but you it can't attack or use its effects when you steal it. Or detach a trap, imperm. Double barrel's fine, but in this deck, I think reader is just the much better option. Uh, then I also have Drago Stapelia, you'll see. Uh, and then Mud Dragon. Uh, it's a level four that I can summon off of Instant Fusion. That is the main thing it's used for. Don't worry about any of its effects. It is a level four made with Instant Fusion. All right, and then finally the side deck. Uh, some decks are really liking to link, and I like drawing, so... Fantastical Dragon Phantasma is pretty decent, along with the protection from Imperm. Pretty nice. Uh, Eradicator and Trap Trick. It's just good. I have a lot of low attack point dark monsters. Uh, evenly matched. I really need a way to go second. Chaos Hunter. Uh, I don't want my things to be banished. I want your things to be banished. Don't banish my things, that's mean. And then Super Poly. Drago Sepelia is a good card. Mud Dragon is a good card. That That is about all. Like, they just are really good and having a good interruption. Along with Super Poly, uh, the, restric the restriction for Drago Sepelia of having a fusion monster. Rainick really doesn't care about their fusion monsters once they've hit the board. I summon this fusion monster, I pass. I set this card. Hey, when you summon a dark monster, I'm gonna fuse with it now, cause screw you. But yeah, I mean, this deck works really well. It's very, it's pretty bricky, I'll be honest. But I mean, I I won the locals with it. Uh, I probably bricked out of the nine games that we played that week. I probably bricked only once out of nine. And it was just, I hit so many time thief spell traps. They're easy ones to side out when you know you're going second. But yeah, I mean, I like the deck a lot. I think it would be really interesting to see it. I, I like some weird decks that I like mixing with other ones that don't that at first Patrick goes, I don't like that. That doesn't make sense. And then when I explain the theory, he goes, that might work. And then he watches me play it and goes, why the fuck did that work? <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Send that down in the comments. Let me know if any decks you think that are weird that can mash up together. I'm totally down to look at them and see how they work. Um, hit that like, subscribe, do all that type of YouTube thing that we ask you to do because that would be very nice and help us out. And until next time, lads, good fun, have luck.